Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. We're here for part two of our series on building the grounding safety system for the high voltage room here at the Leonard Street Labs. Now, what we've got going on is we need, we've set the ground rods outside. So we've got a dozen eight foot long ground rods placed along this wall and down there. They, they're spread out along this wall and that wall down the building. So the next step is to be able to establish the main ground bus inside and get those connections outside. Now we start, we, we need to drill a hole at each location, but in order to know how high to drill our holes, we have to find out where the floor is in relation to outside. So the easiest way to do this is to drill a hole right through, you know, at a known distance above the floor outside and then measure down to there. We tried doing this with this bit, which is an impressively long drill bit. And it wasn't long enough. We ended up being a little bit short. So we have to go much bigger with that, which is the longest drill bit we have in the lab. And it's rather ferocious. It's a bigger hole than we need, but well, great stuff is cheap and drill bits are expensive. So we're gonna start this out. Now, what we're gonna do is drill right here. You can see our previous two holes and we'll just use those as pilot holes. So I'm gonna go in right here and we'll find out where we come out on the other side. Well, that was fun. And uh, we had to hit a piece of rebar or something in there because that was just vicious. You can see that took so long. I don't know if you can get a zoom in on it, but look at our drill right here. You can see the oil coming out from the, the hammer head gearbox. That I don't know, we're gonna take, we'll actually take one of these apart and show you guys inside, but there's like oil shooting out. You can see oil all over the floor right here. It's wicked hot. This is not a happy machine, but our Bosch hammer is sticking in there. This is a Bosch Bulldog 11 234 VSR, and we've had this thing for years and just beat the hell out of it. The bit's doing all right, but I th I'm pretty sure we just drilled through a rebar. That was, that, was a, that was not fun. But I can see daylight. We made it all the way through, and now we just have to do that a few more times. I don't think we're going to do one for every single ground rod. I think we're going to do a series of three or four of these, depending on how the other ones go. If they're all this hard, we're only going to do like four down the whole thing and then four over there. But let's take a look outside and see where we end up, because now we know where we are in relation to the floor. We know our hole's about two inches above the floor. So let's go outside and see what we got. All right, now we're outside, and here's our hole, which is way higher than I thought it'd be. It's at, look at that, it's over my head. I, what? Ah! Okay, so we have to drill down here. Now under this is a tunnel. There's an access utility tunnel below because we could run conduits all the way up, but I don't know. I think it'd look kind of manky. So let's see if we can go in and then up. We'll, we'll penetrate down low, which should put us in the tunnel, and then we'll drill up through the floor and see where we end up. Now we've got a ground rod right here. So I'm going to drill a hole right here at a nice comfortable height above the ground rod. We'll go right there. And let's see where we end up inside the tunnel. All right, so that was the thing that happened. I've had enough of that damn thing for the day. So this is what we got. We drilled our first hole and we ended up here. Now this is floor level inside the high voltage lab, but it's, you know, head level for you. It's like eye level for you. All right, so we drilled a second hole down low here we bottomed out the drill bit and hit dirt. So this tells us we drilled under the tunnel. So the tunnel is here. So the only way we can get an accurate concept of where to come out really is to go down into the tunnel and drill a hole out. So it takes about half an hour to drill one of these holes. We get to do it again. We're gonna go down in the tunnel and drill out. This is neither fun nor pleasant, but we're gonna do it again because it's science and that's what we do. For the, for the internet. We do this. You're killing me with your mind right now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not hitting anything. No, it's, so. no, it's fine. All right. You guys have fun? We're going to do this again. Come on, Dave. Let's go in the basement. All right, so here's our hole. This is a definite win. We're all the way through into the tunnel and we can clean this up. We've got all the bits and we'll just tidy that up, make it pretty. 
and uh, we'll fill it with a fireproof sealant and stuff to keep the bugs and whatnot out. But that's our feed through. So we've got our ground, our ground rods here. There'll be conduit. We'll do half inch PVC conduit on the outside to contain everything and just protect it from the elements and all that jazz. And we've got our holes, and next step is to start pulling conduit and run a wire. So we'll do that in the next episode. We'll be back. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.